Gods Fortress soars majestically upon a plateau above the city of Melk on the Danube. The Benedictine Monastery is an imposing monastery palace of the Christian Occident. Even today, a masterpiece of European Baroque, and also a bulwark of faith that is run according to the rules of the Benedictine Order, dedicated to the honour of God. Up until the 11th century, a Babenberger castle stood here in which the then Margraves guarded important church treasures. When the power of the Margraves expanded and they moved east, the Benedictine monks built a monastery on the site of a former castle. A symbol of power and jubilation was created by young abbot Bertold Dietmeier. He planned the expansion of the monastery and engaged Jakob Prantauer, who worked for the rest of his life on the monastery palace. An imperial wing was arranged for the imperial court and its guests, and for whom various rooms were always made available. The Long Walk continues to be decorated with numerous paintings. The walls feature portrayals of Austrian rulers, Babenberger and Habsburger. Both floors were reached via the imperial staircase. Museum rooms were also set up in the imperial rooms, in which are displayed old works of art. A Romanesque cross and ancient documents of monastic life. Religious works of art and ecclesiastical garments of various periods. The priceless exhibits are framed by both putti and angels, which appear to float in heaven. The ecclesiastical art of the late Middle Ages is illustrated with the altar of Jörg Brö. This was the Bible of the poor, for those who could neither read nor write. Valuable chests are also exhibited and paintings, plus a model of the monastery complex. The imperial wing ends in the marble hall, a dining room for major festivities. There's genuine marble and stucco marble. The ceiling fresco is by Paul Troger, and also an architectural painting by Giottano Fanti. Marmor Hall leads to a mighty terrace which provides a splendid view of the two towers of the monastery church. The patron saints of the church, Petrus and Paulus, Holy Michael and a guardian angel decorate the facade. The view from here to the city of Melk and the river is breathtaking. From the library, a magnificent spiral staircase leads down to a highlight of Baroque art. The monastery church surpasses all expectations. 
34 years in construction, one of the most imposing Baroque churches in the world was built here. It was the work of famous and highly sought-after master theatre builder Antonio Reduzzi. Indeed, his wonderful sense of theatre is plain to see. Magnificently, a large pipe organ unites perfectly with the overall architecture of the church. The side altars and pulpit also contain much artistic detail and lavish splendour. The church shines out in gold and stucco. Orange, ochre and grey dominate. Detailed gilded woodwork decorates each corner of the sacred building. Its pillars and aureoles are almost ostentatious. The high altar with its crown, saints and angels dominates everything, all in the minutest detail. It is all an expression of triumph, of regained spiritual strength of the Counter-Reformation. And here it is, as though both divine and secular power are as one. However, in prayer, the Holy Father Benedict reverts to the principle of the order, the glorification of God. Melk Monastery developed into a cultural, scientific and spiritual centre. The adjoining monastery garden was designed according to Rococo style. In the rear section is a small pavilion in which summer concerts take place. It was constructed in 1747 by Franz Mungenast for pleasure and grace. He subsequently completed the main body of work of his uncle, Prantauer. The city of Mel is located at the foot of the huge monastery complex, along with 87 listed buildings. The fate of the religious order was, and continues to be, inseparably linked with the city. And the boundaries between nature and architecture, rock and monastery construction, merge naturally together. Stift Melk is a living monument of humanity.